The, the most important thing, and this sounds like the most boring, obvious, trite thing I can say, but I think it's actually much deeper than it sounds. The most important thing is that the models are just going to get smarter, generally across the board. There'll be a lot of other things too, which we can talk about. But if you think about what happened from GPT-3 to 3.5 to 4, it just got smarter. Yep. And you could use it for all these things. It got a little more robust. OpenAI is officially now training GPT-5, the next generation of their amazing language model. GPT-4 blew our minds, but GPT-5 might be a whole different beast, pushing the limits of what AI can do. Is this the start of AGI? Let's find out. OpenAI announces the training of GPT-5. You probably know GPT-4, the powerful tool that OpenAI released in 2023. It's the AI model that powers ChatGPT, the amazing chatbot that can talk to you about anything. It can also do many other things like answer questions, write emails, generate term papers, and analyze data. It's like having a super smart friend who knows everything. But OpenAI wants to make it better. That's why they updated GPT-4 last month and called it gpt 4 This update added some cool features, like a voice mode that lets you talk to gpt 4 like a digital assistant. You can ask it to do things like set reminders, play music, or order pizza. But that's not all. OpenAI has also announced that they have begun training their next AI model, which will be more advanced than gpt 4 This new model will have new features and improvements that will take AI to the next level. It will be able to do things that GPT-4.0 can't do and do them better. OpenAI hasn't revealed the name of their new model yet, but they usually name their models with numbers. The first one was GPT-1, then GPT-2, then GPT-3, and then GPT-4. So it makes sense to assume that the next one will be GPT-5. OpenAI also hasn't said when they will release GPT-5. Training AI models is complicated and takes a long time, but OpenAI is working hard to release GPT-5 soon because they have a lot of competition. There are other AI models that are trying to catch up with GPT-4, like Meta's Llama 3, Google's Gemini, and Anthropic's Claude 3. OpenAI wants to stay ahead of them and keep their lead in the AI field. OpenAI is not only making their new model better, but also safer. They know that AI can be powerful, but also risky. That's why they have created a safety and security committee. This committee is in charge of making sure that the new model and future technologies are safe and responsible. The committee has experts who will work together to check and improve OpenAI's processes and safeguards. One of the tasks of the committee is to talk to external safety and security experts. They want to get their opinions and advice on how to make AI ethical and careful. They want to avoid any dangers or problems that could come with AI. Some people have been worried that OpenAI is not careful enough with their AI projects and that they could harm people or the world. Some of these people are former OpenAI employees who have left the company. They were unhappy with how OpenAI was handling AI safety, and they felt that they were not getting enough support or attention. They also had some disagreements with OpenAI. One of them is Ilya Sutskever, who was one of the co-founders of OpenAI. He was also leading the team that was working on long-term safety called Super Alignment. This team was trying to make sure that AI systems align with human values and goals. Another one is John Lika, who was also part of the super alignment team. He said that he was leaving OpenAI, and he said that he was frustrated with the lack of support for the super alignment team's work. Another one is Gretchen Kruger, who was a policy researcher at OpenAI. She said that she had decided to leave OpenAI before she knew about the other departures, but she said that she agreed with their concerns. These departures show that there are some problems and conflicts within OpenAI. But OpenAI has also taken some steps to address these issues. They have created the Safety and Security Committee, which shows that they care about making their AI technologies safe and responsible. GPT-5's potential capabilities. Number one, multimodality learning capabilities. One of the things that GPT-5 might be able to do is to learn from different types of data at the same time. This means that it might be able to understand and generate not only text, but also images, audio, and maybe even video. This will make GPT-5 a more complete and comprehensive AI system. With these multimodal capabilities, GPT-5 might be able to do a lot more things and handle a lot more tasks and applications. Imagine an AI that can read and summarize a document, identify objects in a picture, recognize and transcribe speech, and even understand the context of a video. This will make GPT-5 
have a more realistic and detailed understanding of the world. This will also make GPT-5 better at interpreting complex data. It will be able to use different forms of input to enhance its outputs. For example, virtual assistants powered by GPT-5 might be able to understand user commands that include both a photo and a spoken request. In education, GPT-5 might be able to offer more fun and interactive learning experiences by combining text, images, and audio. Number two, longer context window. Another thing that GPT-5 might be able to do is to have a longer context window. This means that it might be able to remember and use more information when generating text or making predictions. This will make GPT-5 more accurate and relevant, especially for tasks that need a deep understanding of complex topics or large datasets. By having a longer context window, GPT-5 might be able to handle more complicated queries, understand longer texts, and produce more coherent responses. Number three, faster inference speed. Another thing that GPT-5 might be able to do is to have a faster inference speed. This means that it might be able to process and respond to messages faster. This will make chatting with GPT-5 more smooth and natural. You won't have to wait too long for GPT-5 to reply. You will be able to have a more fluid and enjoyable conversation with GPT-5. Number four, smarter thinking. Another thing that GPT-5 might be able to do is to have smarter thinking. This means that it might be able to reason and solve problems better. It might be able to understand context and generate responses that make sense in different situations. It might be able to offer solutions and ideas that are not only relevant, but also smart and creative. This means that GPT-5 might be smarter than its predecessors, especially when it comes to tasks that need deep thinking, strategic planning, and creative problem solving. It might be able to do things that humans can do, and maybe even better. Number five, gets code and users better. Another thing that GPT-5 might be able to do is to get code and users better. This means that it might be able to understand and generate code better. It might be able to understand what users want and generate the code that matches their intentions. It might be able to create and modify code more easily and efficiently. This means that GPT-5 might change the world of coding and programming. It might make it easier to create and modify code and reduce the need for manual coding. It might save developers time and effort and help them create more sophisticated and efficient algorithms. It might lead to breakthroughs in fields like artificial intelligence, data analysis, and cybersecurity. The future development of GPT-5. The development of GPT-5 is a big step towards the goal of creating artificial general intelligence, which is an AI system that can do anything that a human can. But OpenAI has changed its stance on the possibility of superintelligence which is an AI system that can do anything better than a human. In the past, OpenAI had suggested that its AI systems could surpass human intelligence, leading to risks. Some feared that superintelligent AI could outsmart and harm humans. But OpenAI has now taken a more cautious approach, admitting the difficulties and challenges of creating such advanced AI. The company has realized that achieving superintelligence is not easy. There are many limitations and hurdles to overcome, including ethical, safety, and control issues. A major concern is what might happen if AI becomes smarter than humans and the risk of unintended outcomes. Making AI that surpasses human intelligence while keeping it aligned with human values and goals is a hard challenge. Even with the best technology, it's hard to create an AI system that's smarter than humans in every area. So instead of chasing super smart AI, OpenAI has changed its direction. Now the focus is on making AI systems that are safe and helpful. These systems are designed to enhance what humans can do rather than replace us. This shift in focus reflects a more cautious approach to AI development to ensure that AI benefits society without causing harm. All right, that's it for this video, guys. If you have made it this far into the video, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.